What's up, YouTube? Lil Mitchell, Tank Commander Battle Tanks. Frankfurt Shop got a new uh, prototype uh, sprocket. I want to try on the machine here on the Mav. I'm pulling the uh, track. We're trying to knock some weight out of this machine and a lot of the fabrication. So this here make the sprocket assembly arm a lot more simpler. We're just testing to see if it flexes too much. You know, and then if it passes the test here on this MAV, then we'll move it over to the bigger MAV. Here's our sprocket assembly arm, or it's going to be our hub, our sprocket, sprocket hub. The little plates like this. The finished product will have uh, two of these that will actually weld onto this with the bolt holes in it so the sprockets can be removed. Uh, I'm gonna tack them on for now for the testing. Ooh, how about that? I just repaired the motor yesterday, so that's why the videos are jumping around everywhere. Something to happen and I'll repair this or that. And all these days are running together, but everything's moving back and forth, depending on the rain and like uh, the motor fell, the MAV. Never had that happen in six or eight years. We're gonna pull the big uh, assembly arm off. Drop that. Hopefully this will be the last time taking us off. The setup there keeps the sprocket from flexing side to side. I need glass, but I can't see shit. Well. Ooh. A little slit there will work good. Okay, we're doing over three. It hit the ground, completely vanished into a space time continuum. I'm gonna get these fitted on here. That one fits. Got that one on. I'll get the other one fitted up while you go charge. So we just gotta tack the top, tack the outside. I got them squared up across, and then I'll take the track back off and then the line the sprockets up. Damn. We're about to weld the center things in. I didn't film the setup, camera going dead. Having trouble keeping the charge on the camera today. I put those about 120 degrees apart from each other. Those blocks are cut exactly what I need. Oh. That one's tight so it can go. Put these Ooh, yeah. 
Look at that. Beautiful. Ooh, hot and pretty. Paint it inside of that. Splash it off with the hot air gun. See how well it spits. See the track lugs? It rides right over top of that. Right over top of that. So it can't move side to side. Yeah, just a little bitty gap between the two sides to give me room for this to flex up and down. What I'll do, I'll pull the motors all the way out to the side. That way it'll be less chance of flexing out here. Hopefully that won't flex. If that'll pass, if that'll pass, I'll still move the motors out and eliminate all of that framing work on the inside. I'll drop about 25 pounds, 25 to 30 pounds from the right and the left side. We can lose all the main supports inside of the frame. Just carrying the uh, sprocket assembly arm, which is overkill anyway. I, don't, I probably don't need that framing work. This here could act as part of the structure.
Like, subscribe, hit that bell.